how to change the cabin air filter on a 2016 to 2023 Toyota Tacoma. And it's super fast and easy, just like everything else on this vehicle. So let's get going real quick. Like, subscribe, and share while we're watching this and comment below with the year make model of the vehicle that this video helps you on. So your cabin air filter or your pollen filter is the filter that filters all the air coming into the cabin when your heater or air conditioner is on. Right here in the glove box. Open the glove box, take everything out, and you find this little door. It tells you, slide it up, and it comes right off. Super easy, self-explanatory, really easy. Did I say it's easy? It's easy. If you need a cabin air filter, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase one. Now right here, this is the cabin air filter door itself. On both sides, you have little tabs or little ears. Push them inwards, both sides, and it should pop right off just like this one. You can see both sides, you have those little ears. Nothing too hard about this. And you can see there's the cabin air filter. We already are at the cabin air filter. This thing is super easy. Make sure to take note of the direction of the cabin air filter when you take it out. The hard sides were on both the driver and passenger sides. The soft sides were in the center or the front and back. There is also a airflow arrow that my video camera is not picking up because my brightness was not set right. So there is a arrow on this cabin air filter that is facing down. That is the, the direction of the airflow. So make sure when you reinstall, everything is the same way as you take it out. When buying a cabin air filter, you can get filters that not just clean the air, but also are charcoal activated or have activated charcoal in them that will clean the air a little bit better and trap smells a little bit better as well. So there are upgraded cabin air filters that you can buy and there will be links in the description below to purchase those as well. If your cabin air filter is dirty, it could make the airflow coming out of the air vents really slow or not perform as good as it used to. And it could also cause weird smells in the cabin. You can see I just put the cabin air filter in the wrong direction. I didn't have the hard sides on the driver and passenger side of the filter. So I had to take it out, put it back in. And if you have any problems inserting the new cabin air filter, something is not right. So it should slide right in. Same with this little door right here. It should clip on with no problems. If it takes any extra effort, something isn't right. So take it off and do it again. To install the door to the door in your glove box, put it more so on the top side and the ears on the bottom or the tabs on the bottom will slide into place when it locks in properly. Again, it should fall into place super easy. That's it. Do this every 15,000 miles. You're all set. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. I hope this video helped you out. Like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies.